So we are back with Blender. We are in the 3D viewport. We have the default cube along with one ellipsoid and one torus in this scene. For someone who is new to Blender, one big challenge is faced in navigating through the 3D viewport. It is easy to get lost, and it takes some time to master the view navigation. In this tutorial, we will understand how to make the basic movements in the 3D viewport. But before that, I assume that you are familiar with the different types of editors or panels visible on this screen. If not, I made one tutorial just on that, the link is in the video description. In the 3D viewport, we can have three types of movement. One is the zoom in and zoom out motion in order to see the details of an object. Second is the rotational movement. We can freely rotate the view if we want to look at an object from some different angle. The third type is the translational movement. We can move to left right or up and down. Remember, here we are not talking about any movement of the objects themselves. We are talking only about the movement of the viewport. We will see how we can make these basic motions, but before that, we will need to understand the mouse now. Blender works on the concept of a three-button mouse. It should have a left button, one middle button, and a right button. In place of the middle button, you may also have a scroll wheel. The scroll wheel works as the middle button, you can press it. In case your mouse has only two buttons, don't worry, you can still use it like a three-button mouse. For that, go to Edit Menu, go to Preferences, and under the Input tab, you have an option called Emulate Three-Button Mouse. If you enable that option, you can press the Alt button on your keyboard and use the left mouse button. The left mouse button will now work as the middle button. So enable this option if you do not have a three-button mouse. However, Blender works better with a mouse with scroll wheel. Back to the 3D viewport, we will see how the mouse can help us to move around. We can use the scroll wheel of our mouse to easily zoom in and zoom out. Alternatively, you can just click on this icon and drag your mouse up and down to zoom in and out. In order to rotate the view around an object, Press the middle mouse button or the wheel and drag your mouse in left or right to rotate the view. Upward or downward. For translational motion, press the shift key and press the middle mouse button. Alternatively, you can press on this hand icon and move your mouse to whichever direction you want to pan the view. Let us summarize we have seen the rotational movement, the zooming operation, and lastly we saw how to pan the viewport easily in any direction. You must have noticed that the zooming operation using the scroll wheel is not very smooth. It zooms to the target object using some steps. To make a smooth zoom, press the control key on the keyboard and press the middle mouse button or the wheel. Or use this lens tool, press here and drag your mouse. This way if you zoom, you can see a difference. It is very smooth now. This is also the default option in case your mouse does not have a scroll wheel. When you rotate the viewport, you will notice that it always rotates around one object like this default cube here. What if you want to rotate the view around the torus, for example? Simply selecting the torus does not help here. It still rotates around the cube. That is because 3D viewport uses the concept of a pivot point. Right now the pivot point is at the center of the cube. We have to change it to the torus. To do so, first select the torus. Then press the decimal point key on your number keypad. As soon as you press the dot, the view zooms on the torus. Now if you rotate the view, it will rotate around the torus. The pivot point is now shifted to the torus. This trick has a good use case. If you are new to Blender, you will surely experience this. It may happen sometimes that you accidentally move the viewport far away into the deep dark. You can't see any object, and you feel lost. No need to worry. Everything is in control. To reset the view, select one of your objects from the outliner panel, maybe this default cube, and press the decimal point key. The viewport will zoom back to that object, and you can get back to where you were. Very simple and very useful. That's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will discuss how to modify your objects and how to move them. Thanks for watching.